Are you guys ready to read some poetry? We have, we have so many people here tonight. And I'm really happy you're all here. We have a really, really awesome... <laughs> I can't count. Uh, I can't count. Uh, I was a French major. Um, so <laughs> don't try to speak to me in French. I can't do it anymore. Um, so we have a lot of people sign up tonight. That's really awesome. We also have a fantastic feature. Uh, really excited about her. I think you all are going to love her poetry. So... Let's just go ahead and get started. Somebody asked to be first, which lets a lot of you off the hook, because I know nobody ever wants to be first. So please welcome one of my favorite poets, Brett. Woo! Brett, birds aren't real, Bartlett. <laughs> Thank you. Just wanted to take a second, and we are going to do um, a recalibration breath. So we are going to do in for four, hold for four, out for four. As soon as, um, <laughs> sometimes I forget I'm an Amazon of a woman, but it is what it is. So I'm going to go in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. So when I was a kid, I was a Percy Jackson kid, picturing myself along swords swinging, demigods and gorgons, a daughter of Demeter, but I never realized the poison that lived within these veins. So I figured out that I'm more death than Demeter, more Hades than Harvest, a tombstone with tumors, and I never knew what to do with that. I always thought that I would be the one on the quest, not the one sitting behind being the oracle, trying to figure out how to process my own brain and what I was seeing happening. So, I, on December 28th, 2021, I was given the choice to live or to die. So, I decided to live. I decided to live for my dog's sweet eyes the second that he sits there in my seat stealing it, saying, who, me? I decided to live for the poetry slam, even if I do not want to perform, when I decide to anyways and feel the love that radiates from the seats in front of me. I decided to live because I told myself that I wouldn't. I decided to live because I told myself that I couldn't. I decided to live because I told myself that I shouldn't. I live, I live, I live because I have not yet seen a world where I can convince young children that they are not just the next case and a nurse's load. They are not just a bed. They are not just a diagnosis. They are not just a child to be ripped, to be torn out. I live, I live, I live because I refuse to see a world where these children cannot understand what is going on with them. I live, I live, I live because I refuse to see a world where they cannot say if Miss Brett did it, then so can I. I live because I told myself that I wouldn't. I live because I told myself that I couldn't. I live because I told myself that I shouldn't. And I still do that every single day. So I live until I finally believe myself. Thank you. <laughs> 